Welcome to Taboo Topics. I'm Dr. Christine Greaves. And I'm Dr. Jamin Brombach. Today's taboo topic is genital warts. Whether you're a man or a woman, you might be asking yourself questions about genital warts, and that's okay. We know this topic might seem taboo, but we are here to talk about it and make it less taboo. So let's get started. Human papillomavirus is the virus that causes the genital warts. So there's many different strains of this virus, but essentially most of us will have this virus inside of us. We'll never see any signs of it. But when we do see signs, we may see little cauliflower lesions for men, sometimes on their penis, around their anus. From a gynecologist standpoint, it can be on the labia, the vulva, inside the vagina, on the cervix, um, and it's basically a wart. So similar to what you may or may not have had as a child, there are a few risk factors for genital warts. Having sex at an earlier age is a risk factor. If you are having tons of sex unprotected, um, you can get genital warts. Being immunosuppressed or uh, meaning your immune system is a little bit um, lower because of either HIV or having had a transplant or some other reasons. So in 30 to 40% of the cases, genital warts may actually just go away on their own without any treatment at all. But that leads me to saying the majority, you know, more than like, you know, at least 60% of the time, they don't go away on their own. So that's when you may need some assistance. You know, what guys need to realize is they don't have to self-treat this or just live in misery knowing that they have a little spot uh, on their genitals. There are some really cool treatment options. We could pretty much get rid of what you have there within seconds in the office. There's little creams that we could give you that are prescription-based that you can go home and apply yourself and the spot will go away over the next couple of weeks. There's things we can do with little chemicals in the office or even we have things that we can freeze these warts off with. And if they're a little bit on the big side, we can do quick, minimally invasive procedures or surgeries on them to remove them almost completely. It's a very simple treatment, really. And the smaller the lesion is, meaning the earlier that you recognize it and come to us, then the easier that treatment is and the faster and more effective it will be usually. Doesn't mean you no longer have the virus inside of you. So you gotta keep being smart with all your sexual encounters. Ways to prevent um, genital warts um, include the HPV vaccine that you can get as young as the age of 10 to 11. There's actually three FDA approved vaccines that can prevent these lesions or complications from this, this virus in up to 90% of patients. There's actually a criteria to getting this vaccine and because of the three different types of strains and types, you know, I really do recommend you go talk to your primary care doctor or your obstetrician or gynecologist about getting these vaccines, not just for you, but even for your children. Another way is, you know, wearing a condom or recommending a condom. Um, however, that's not 100% because it all depends on where the warts are. Um, because the condom only covers a small part. I'm Dr. Jamin Brombot. And I'm Dr. Christine Greaves. And we hope you learned something new today. So don't be afraid to talk to your healthcare provider. <laughs>